Now that we've gone through some of the very, very basic aspects of using brushes in Photoshop, the next logical step would be how do we erase these lines? So if you have an entire layer that you're not particularly interested in or happy with, you can obviously go in and turn those on and off. But perhaps you just have elements uh, you know, of something that you've drawn that you don't quite like and you want to tweak it a little bit. Well, we can use our eraser. So I happen to be on my red layer here, and maybe I just want to you know, get rid of these ends or something. The eraser is located in the toolbox just a few down from the brush tool. And notice that we're actually using just the eraser, so not the background or magic or whatever just a plain eraser. The eraser has very similar properties to the brushes in that we can change the size, the shape, the hardness, the opacity, and all those types of things. So up at the top again you'll see that we change basically what the you know eraser shape is and all that. So maybe I'll pick you know just a solid circle, I'll make it nice and big so it's easy to see, and I'll keep the hardness at 100 so the edges are really crisp. I will for right now keep my opacity up at 100 so that this acts like a very, very harsh eraser. So if I click and drag through my layer, you'll see that I am actually making some pretty harsh cuts through this squiggle. If I use my magnifying glass to uh, zoom in there, you'll see that when you actually, when you have a very hard edged brush or eraser or anything like that, it makes these kind of circular cuts which are somewhat unpleasant you know and if you go back and forth it's like you can kind of you see how they keep repeating if I right click and just soften that a little bit on this menu you'll see that it starts to reduce that a little bit I'm going again and I'm reducing it so that it's not particularly fuzzy but getting rid of some of those those harsh circles Okay, so like right here, this is a lot softer than this where it kind of sketches through it a little bit. So it's something you have to play around with to get the, the magic touch, if you will. So beyond that, you know, I could take it way down to zero. And now, even though I didn't change the width, do you see how it's a lot thinner? It's because it's soft and fuzzy, but that would allow me to come in and, you know, softly erase things here, something like that. So you can, you know, be, you know, very soft and gentle. We can also erase not at 100%, but at, you know, something lower so that it's not taking away all of the color there. You know, if I took that down to like 20-ish percent, 22, 23, and I cut through an area, you see how it's just barely getting rid of it. And it will only do it to that 23% that I have it set at on my initial click. If I let go, click again and come through, it'll erase away more and more. So it's an effect that you can build up. And this is how you can start getting far more painterly and delicate with Photoshop is using things like the opacity to you know, work at things a bit like using chalk pastels or, you know, that type of thing. Okay. If I use control zero to zoom out, you'll see the difference of having the opacity here at 100%. So I really am cutting through then the hardness here at 100 versus zero. And then here where it's a very soft eraser, we're using a low opacity to use a, a softer approach to come through and cut away at that a little bit.